So you played a predominantly white sport. Yes. As a black man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to tell me a little bit about how that was? Um, like how? Did you experience any weird discrimination? Yeah. Yeah, there was a... In hockey, there's a lot of racism, uh, especially growing up. Uh, a lot of name calling, a lot of uh, non penalties called, things of that nature. So you got called names a lot? Yes. Were you and your brother almost always on the same team, or were you guys on different teams? Sometimes? No, we were, uh, we were only on the same team maybe, I think, one year, one or two years at the, at the beginning. And then he's a year and a half older, so he's on another team. Did it get worse when you guys were apart? No, no, it's about the same. <laughs> <laughs> so you're always being thrown, like, insults? Mm-hmm. Did you, were there more thrown at you versus your white counterparts, or did it seem equal? Uh, well, coming from Cleveland Heights, we had, uh, you know, a few Jewish kids on the team, too, so, um, it was kind of spread around. I think I was more of a target of uh, racial slurs than my Jewish counterparts and teammates, but um, I don't think any of us were, were immune to it. Okay, so it was worse because you were obviously very different. Correct. Do you think that discouraged you from playing or just made you no, it didn't discourage me at all. I mean, the good times definitely outweighed the bad times, so I guess that's one uh, motivating factor. Plus, I was I was better than probably ninety eight percent of the people I played against. So <laughs> it didn't really matter, right? Because you were crushing them. Mm -hmm. Were people like weirded out when they found out your parents were white? No, no, not at all. Uh, I would say the majority of people didn't really matter. Um, to the ones that it mattered to, it just, I didn't care, so. You just pushed through it? Mm-hmm. Uh, did it mostly come from parents or uh, other players? Parents, players, coaches. Didn't matter. Didn't matter.